happy August uh, favorites. <laughs> all right, I got all my ta my tarot decks together, and I was trying to like think about this past month and everything that's gone on, and what I wanted to share with you guys. And um, I wasn't really sure where to start, but uh, one thing I did do. Um, so uh, I have an awesome boyfriend who loves camping, outdoors stuff, and. I, I myself have never been a really into outdoors, but going, I've learned now after the last two years, going camping and getting out in nature, how amazing it is for like someone like me, you might be like this as well, especially like with my business, I always have to have my phone on me, and it's really like, even if it wasn't part of business, it probably would still be hard for me to unplug, you know, from you know, the internet <laughs> and my cell phone. So like getting out in nature and just enjoying, and I'm not, like not rock climbing or anything, like not like 10 mile hikes or anything like that, but just like getting out in nature, going to see some waterfalls, going, just enjoying the peace, peacefulness that is outdoors. Um, I've been really able to learn how to like, how to glamp, glamping, you know, glamorous camping, um, and make it really comfortable, and like, how to achieve a great night's sleep. I might be, I'll, I might do a separate video, because, um, we've gone twice this month, and it has just been, it's so relaxing, we've been several times throughout the summer, but I want to say, like, I have my favorite tarot decks that I take camping with me, and uh, sitting by the fire, reading the message, you know, like, and also, like, if you go with a group of people, um, I took the Earth Magic Oracle when we went with a big group, uh, this summer, and just passed it around for everybody so they could, you know, pull their own card, do, you know, read, read their own messages, and it was just a beautiful thing, and actually the Earth Magic Oracle was great for, you know, like an outdoor setting, but, um, I just wanted to say, so this last weekend we went, and we went to an amazing, uh, waterfall, um, here in Tennessee, and uh, it's not like it's not a strenuous hike at all. Like I was able to take my toddler, you know, she did it just fine. And um, I actually like this time because I I'm, I hate cold water, <laughs> I hate cold water. But this time it was like just the right temperature. You know, like it was hot enough outside. I actually like went in and submerged myself, and it felt like like spiritually speaking, like just how it felt. It felt so cleansing and like high vibe. I felt like I was just radiating um, energy like the rest of the time. It just felt so, it just felt like I just plugged straight into the spirit world, I guess, um, you know, in nature. So it just felt incredible. So I'd highly recommend, um, recommend that. But I also have a few tips on how to make it comfortable because uh, when we go camping, we do uh, hammocks. We do not do tents and I hate tent camping. So I highly recommend. I have a couple of things that are like must-haves in case anyone's out there like me that's not super outdoorsy but would probably need or could enjoy the outdoors. I might do a separate video and just show you what like what gear I have that makes an incredible night's sleep. Like my hammock is basically like it's a cocoon, you know. There's like a there's an under quilt that goes on the outside of it to keep all the air out so you just stay super cozy in this amazing cocoon and you get like the best night's sleep ever. <laughs> so that's one thing I've done just to really help keep me relaxed and calm and cleansed and just, yeah, just connected. And um, another thing that um, I do also, well, that's the other thing I wanted to mention, because I've been doing this for several years. I, feel, I think I've, I've mentioned it before, but also for, like, other women out there, in case you're interested, because I feel like there's a cat, um, it's been really helpful for me, because I'm, like, I'm really high energy and, like, um, you know, high strung. Um, I do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and I just wanted to say because I've been doing it for a couple of years now how much that has gone hand in hand with my um, spirituality and among other things but I was also going to say so um, I saw uh, yesterday I was watching um, Wild Moon Woman's uh, August videos and she was talking about Benabel Wynn's shadow work course um, that's available and when she was talking about it, I was like, oh my gosh, I, I was, I'll say the other thing, I was like, as soon as it got a little bit cold um, here in Tennessee, as soon as I could, you know, the slightest hint of fall is in the air, I immediately started thinking, I'm ready for shadow work. I'm ready for shadow work. I'm, I'm so, I'm so ready. I was already like pulling out decks or I've been doing a lot of trades this month as well. So I was like, I'm ready for trades. I'm ready, or I'm ready to go for darker decks. I need something, I need something, um, 
triggering. I'm ready. I'm ready to go deeper and um, with my own tarot readings. And um, where was I going with that? <laughs> like, ah. um, so I signed up for um, the Benabel Wins Shadow Work course, and I was able to listen to it, just go ahead and start just a little bit of it yesterday. And she was talking in relation to shadow work and chi cultivation which I'm a huge, I'm, I'm very, in, very much into it. And I've, I just wanted to say how it all correlates. Like if shadow work and spirituality and, be, you know, raising our awareness and our consciousness and our, our self-awareness of ourselves and, you know, what drives us and just getting to know ourselves better and more completely, you know, uh, developing our chi, developing our energy source or core. Uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu has helped me and I just had to like be a proponent of it because um, in case anyone's out there like if you're interested in a like a martial art because um Brazilian Jiu Jitsu not only I was like why you know like why has it helped so much because I was like when my um, my spiritual counselor when I told her I, I've been doing I was like how did all these you know like me getting into reke um, how did how did it really come about like what were some of the things that like led me to this point and I was like, well, I've been doing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu on the regular for, yeah, um, two years now. And I realized, like, martial arts, not only does it, like, it's a great exercise, like, for me personally, like, I did it right after I had my baby. I started uh, started Jiu-Jitsu after I had my child. And, like, I lost all my baby weight and, like, you know, like, got stronger, fitter. And I'm not, like, you know, and I don't even have to do a bunch of it. And it just, like... I can pretty much eat my normal, you know, eat a normal diet or whatever, you know, however I eat and, you know, I don't gain weight, but it's like keeps me super, you know, super healthy. It's also, it's a great, it's so beautiful to know self-defense because I used to have nightmares of, um, ter awful nightmares about getting attacked and not being able to defend myself. Like I, I felt like I was like a wet noodle in these nightmares and I had these, these are reoccurring nightmares my whole life of like not being able to defend myself. And um, when I, I got divorced and I had a child and I was like, I'm the woman of the house now. I was like, I don't even know how to defend myself. You know, it just was like, you know, like a very root chakra problem, you know, like not being able to survive. And uh, so I was just thinking like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for me, it was like, it taught me very practical self-defense skills. And it's not like depending on you being able to punch a guy, you know, it's not being able to, to like knock out somebody because I myself cannot, I could probably not knock out anybody. Like if one, if you're lucky and you get a kick, but I just, jujitsu is like geared towards like, like any body type. Like it doesn't matter if you're a hundred pound girl or, you know, or whatever, you know, you can be it just, you know, it can work with whatever you have to work with. So it's not dependent on being super strong. It's just depending on like knowing your body. And that's the thing. Like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu has helped me. Like before Jiu Jitsu, I you know I did yo I do um, have done yoga. I'm not like a master, but you know it's like I felt like I knew knew my body. I went through natural childbirth. You know I felt like I kind of know my body and um, and like what my pain threshold is and like just being you know having some sort of awareness of my physical body. And then like I do Jiu Jitsu and I felt like. For the first couple months, almost like the first year, I had, I was like, I do not know how to use all four limbs. You know, you will, it's like learning the, like your actual body. And it's like, it's like they call it like chess, you know, chess, um, Jiu Jitsu is like, yeah, playing chess with your body. It's like, yeah, body chess, I guess. I guess. But um, it was like, so it helped on that. And also the fact that like a martial art training and it's like Jiu Jitsu, you can actually spar with it, um, you know, they call it rolling, and you can actually spar, and it doesn't matter, yeah, if guy or girl, like, I'm at a great gym, there's, like, a lot of women there, too, but, like, you know, it's a great gym, because there's, like, all the guys are super nice, everyone's classy, everybody wants to, like, improve and help each other, and you can actually train it, versus, like, I did Taekwondo as a kid, and I remember, you know, like, putting on all those pads, and I got the shit kicked out of me by, like, guys, and that, and it hurts, you know, like, to get, like, kicked, you know, like, that fucking hurts, and it's not something you can, like, really train for the long term without, like, getting hurt, and you can train jujitsu and actually practice all the moves and know how to defend yourself, and, um, without, you know, you can do it every day and not hurt yourself, so it's a little bit safer, and it's more practical because you can actually train it, train with it, but, um, Anyway, I just want to say because also the other the other aspect to martial arts and like spirituality and discipline, you like learning to tame your ego. 
and learning to, like like how it helped heal my like my root chakra fears like deep survival fears like my nightmares stopped almost immediately even without like being proficient at jujitsu as soon as like I kind of just knew at least like one self defense move like one choke it immediately um, helped overcome my fears so um, anyway I just want to say like being able to go camping getting out in nature and really connecting in nature and in a comfortable way for people that are not so outdoorsy and then also um, learning uh, a martial art if you are at all interested in like a really awesome way to like exercise and learn something practical because like if, like every woman needs to know how to choke out a dude you know like you can even know how to choke out somebody. You can be like a, like an assassin and know how to choke out somebody. But there's also the benefits of it. I realized was like, yeah, you know, learning learning my ego, learning my physical body, learning discipline, learning like even if you yourself are getting you know tapped out or you know someone gets you in a choke or an art, you know a submission, you know learning to deal with those emotions and knowing like it's just your ego that's mad, you know like or, or learning to handle yourself in a competition. I guess since. So, um, anyway, I just thought I would share that because it has been so amazing on every aspect of life. Yeah, so, anyway. Alright, so with that said, let's get into the tarot decks. I'm sorry, I just had to, like, share those two big points, and I can go deeper into it if you're at all interested. Um, because, like, especially for jiu-jitsu, there's all kinds of gems. There's, you know, like, my gems geared towards self-defense. There's other gems that are geared towards, like, more... Um, mixed martial arts style or people that like you know want to do more competitions and um, and in my case like if you're a woman uh, like my there's a lot of women at my gym and they're like all super nice there's like a great energy there and um, so it's just like finding there's like lots of families there's like lots of uh, couples with kids that all train so you know you can get if you're looking for a gym or interested at all like you know finding that kind of environment to learn it is um, I highly recommend but anyway um, so yesterday, I got three decks. <laughs> I was like, woo! But let me show you guys the first one. The It finally came in. This is the Star Tarot by Kathy McClelland, which has been on pre-order forever. <laughs> so um, it finally came in. It is beautiful. It comes in a box similar to the... Um, you know how to see that. That's how they, it came in. I'm sorry, I did not do an unboxing. I, I kind of did like an Insta story last night with it, but... Oh, sorry. But there's, um, look how beautiful inside the box. But a really nice box, uh, similar to the Bone Fire Tarot uh, Mass Published Edition. And it came with a really awesome book. And I've only had a chance to look. I did one card pull last night before bed because I was so exhausted from my muggle job. But, um... If you can see on her website, um, I noticed like when I was like looking at it um, before I pre-ordered it, I could tell, like, I noticed like all the, um the descriptions under the card wow that's a big description like this is the four here's our three of swords um description wow so it's like really in depth and it goes into the astrological uh thing it has astrology with it Let's see if you can see so that's the um three of pentacles so it goes in like so in the way it's um labeled out so three of cups all the threes are together in the minors so three of swords three of pentacles three of cups um, it also has, um, in the beginning, so here's the, the write-up for the majors, um, but the messages are really good. You can, I could tell on the website, like, there was a lot of in-depth, um, information, um, on her website, but this book is, like, really, it's, it's got me excited. It's, like, again, similar to, like, the Bonefire Tarot, like, a really nice, chunky book. I was trying to find... She has descriptions. So on the minor arcana, it talks about, yeah, so the lunar cycle and aspects, and it includes new moon, crescent moon, first quarter moon, the uh, all the moons, like full moon, super full moon, um, basalmic moon, uh, lunar eclipse, eclipse, oh yeah, solar eclipses, lunar eclipses, and it goes into the suits themselves, describing them, and they're like with astrology connotations, so, and then it goes into the aces and yeah so all of that let me get into the back um and then sorry it's so beautiful though look how beautiful that's the world card in case we don't get to it um 
All right, there are no spreads that I can see. So, but awesome book, beautiful. Like I did, the, I had the Ace of Wands last night. Beautiful message. Um, yeah, it was super exciting. Just to, I like the moon at the, the lunar aspects too. So. Um, Card stock, the cards are pretty big. Um, that's the backing. It's a uh, yeah, glossy. They were a little sticky when they came out, which I don't think is this Schiffer Publishing. I don't think it was. We don't know. No, it's it's Red Feather. Okay, Red Feather Publishing. Oh, it is Schiffer. Okay, yeah, it is Schiffer. So it is a little yeah. All their decks are sticky, but Bonefire and Terror of the She for me both like came you know. They loosened up over time. So um, there are really big borders with this, but <sighs> that's my only complaint about it. But the artwork is gorgeous. Um, you can and you can see really good. Sorry for the glare. Yeah, the glossiness. Um, where's the devil? It's such beautiful artwork. But yeah, look how big those borders are. And if you trimmed it. They'd be really small cards. <laughs> so I wish it was, I mean, they don't do borderless, but I wish the images were a little bit bigger. It's just, you know, this artwork is amazing. And how long has she worked on this, right? So um, anyway, I'll do a, probably a full flip through of this when I have time. If I have time. Ooh. But I do like how magical it is. And... There's a two of cups. So, um, there's justice. Uh, car, yeah, but the card stock's fine. It's a little big for me to, it's a little, little difficult to shuffle with, but so far I am, I am happy though to have it because I was like, I don't know if it was going to come in because as soon as it was released, it was like, temporarily sold out. I'm like, am I ever going to get my deck? So, anyway, uh, there's that. But the book looks amazing. So, we'll see how this goes. I was like, what? <laughs> my mom was like, you know, it was a birthday present for my mom. So, she's like, do a reading for me right now. I was like, I, I need to look through this deck first. I mean, it just came in the mail. I was like, I can't do this for you right now. I want to, got to learn it. But, um... There's a Prince of Wands. Oh, so it's Princes and Princesses. Or, sorry. Princes, Knights, Queens, and Kings. Why do you say that? That is a Prince. Prince of Wands. Um. Morgan's. There's a world card. Oh, I need to show you the death. Death, death, death. Look how beautiful. I love that phoenix. Um, got lost in that card last night, but, um, so it goes, uh, prince and princess, princes and princesses with the knights, and then queens and kings. Okay, so that's the breakdown for that, and also yesterday I picked up the, um, the Lightworker Oracle. I thought that'd be pretty handy as a Reiki healer, and um, it's um, my, this is my second Oracle deck of Alana Fairchilds. I have the Isis Oracle, which I absolutely adore, and um, it's beautiful. The artwork's gorgeous, and I haven't I've only got to pull one card from it, but um, it's it's glossy too. But yeah. There's um, that, and it came with a really nice book, similar to the Isis Oracle, but, um, yeah, she likes the really good little messages with the invocation. Um, yeah, so far, so far, so good. And then I wanted to also share, well, I guess I can say it, uh, I finally connected to my Gypsy Tarot, or Gypsy Palace Tarot. I took this camping, I asked it if it wanted to go camping first, and it pulled out this like very nature card, so I was like, I'm going to take you camping, and it's not, it wasn't my, my go-to for camping, um, it's actually, Vision Quest is amazing for sitting by the fire, and reading a message, and just being at peace, listening to the cicadas, and just enjoying life, um, I love Vision Quest, this has been my number one for out in nature, 
reading the beautiful messages in the book and just, you know, enjoying the cards. But, um, so I took Gip Gypsy Palace because I've had an issue with this deck. It's, you know, not being able to connect with it. And damn it, I was like, I'm taking, you're coming with me and we're going to connect. And we finally connected. I still, um, you know, I carried it around with me for a little bit, um, took it with me out and about, and I, I do love it. Um, it's finally, like, not being such an ass <laughs> to me. Not that it was being an ass, and this card, the hangman comes out all the time for me. But, um, not that it necessarily is an ass, it's just my perspective of it, but it's finally giving me some really beautiful messages that I can, like, it's finally getting through to me. So, um, yeah, it's so beautiful. Um, yeah. And I do recommend, get the guidebook with it. Um, she has some of the guidebook available online. And that write-up is very helpful. I, I think, um, I don't think she sells the guidebook individually. So if you are going to get this deck, get the guidebook. Save yourself, you know, some hassle. Um, the other thing, so the decks I'm getting ready to use. I want to get, also, I want to get the Mary L Tarot. I'm ready to do shadow work before when I first saw that deck I was like nope too much too triggering I don't even want to go there and now I'm like no I'm ready for it now I'm ready so with that said I have been using well I just got this yesterday but I've been wanting this the Chicoli Tarot um, and it's so beautiful I feel like this is for like as a woman inner child healing um, especially just like fears I've had um, seeing my seeing shadow sides of myself or integrating of like wow this this deck can do the job and um beautiful images and then uh the shamone tarot uh this is another one i've been using just for myself um i love this deck i still like the guidebook is just so good i, I really i haven't sat down and just read through the whole guidebook but um, as I, I'm piecemealing it together, like reading certain sections of it um, for the cards as I do readings for myself. And it's just the story she has. Like this deck is like super deep. Really, really, really deep. And yeah, I'll just, I can't, I just for an individual, like just as a personal deck, I don't know if like if anyone else uses it. Well, I know uh, Kelly from The Truth and Story, she uses this for others. Um, I'm not comfortable with it for that yet. But it is so good for intuitive readings on myself. Um, beautiful. Very beautiful. And then uh, what I just got in a trade, and I haven't done a reading with it yet, is the Dark Goddess Tarot. I'm so excited. So I know I've just been like, I'm in the mood for shadow work. Shadow work at all. <laughs> and um, also, I was going to say, so um, when they talk about like connecting to a tarot deck and getting like, the more connected you are to a tarot deck, the more reliable you are, like, with reading from it um, and getting, like, really good answers and um, divination. I was going to say this this month has been, not that I, I've always been able to get really good energy readings, um, obviously, you know, for with my cards. But um, I was going to say the two, my two all-rounders that I love, um, the Morgan Greer and the Lumina Tarot. I just wanted to say, I did readings this month um, with these decks, and I got, like, not just, like, really good general answers, readings from, but, like, specific divination where I'm like, this is happening, you know? And I know, like, with tarot, it can get, you know, like, day by day, things, energies can shift immediately, and you can, you know, different paths form, and so it's kind of like, if you're doing it for divination for the future, you know, there's a lot of factors at play. But I will say, this, these two, like, I was like, okay, I'm very connected to both of these, and they both got, gave me, um, it, it creeped me out almost, like, how, like, yes, this is happening, you know, it was like, without a doubt, and it, you know, and it did, and I was just like, whoa, you know, I was just like, okay, I'm obviously, like, these decks are very, they, like, I got these, like, I can trust them, they know, like, I can trust, like, the messages I'm getting from them. So, um, the power of connecting to, like, a really good all-rounder, or I guess they're any deck, but, like, the fact that these are my all-rounders, and I'm very connected to them, and the answers that I got, or the divinations I've done with them this month, or in August, um, have wowed me massively. And then, I was going to say, uh, Wild Unknown. And this is also a really good, you know, outdoorsy deck, obviously, but this deck gives me, um, beautiful 
beautiful readings. They're still giving me great readings. I just, I, I love it. Love it. So, um, that said, I'm sorry, I've gone, I've talked so much, but there's so many things to talk about. And then I was going to say also, I got, I kind of like went with Drew. I went into hermit mode this month as well. I fin I finally, I read halfway through this book um, a few months ago and I got to a part, it didn't, it wasn't like I got bored. I got to a part where I was just like, whoa, my mind has, my mind has been blown away. I just sat it down because I was like, I need to sit on like what I just read. Like I had to stop like halfway through. And I put it, you know, it was beside my, it was up my, on my bedside table. And then I felt called like three weeks ago to pick it back up again. And I picked it up and then finished, went through all the way through it. And then I was just like mind blown again. And I just sat with it for a week and just had to like peace out for a little bit. I was just like, whoa, like my mind has been blown, like spiritually speaking. Yeah, so, um... This is about her past life in e in ancient Egypt um, as a princess, <laughs> I guess, an Egyptian princess. Um, I really recommend this book if you are at all interested in a perspective, like just a, a perspective that brings it, like some of those like higher spiritual wisdom truths to a more um, layman into, into layman's terms, I guess would be a good way but um the first half is a little bit slower because it talks about like her and her current life and then she goes in, like halfway through she goes and, and then it's all about her ancient Egypt past life but um the whole book is amazing totally worth it if this is up your alley and I've recommended this before but now that I've finished it I say even more so I recommend this um this is recommended by a I don't it's like I don't want to say her name but um a very amazing, uh, powerful astrologer had recommended this book for me. So, um, in the sense, I was like, I'm looking for more answers. I want some more answers. And it's like, okay, read this. And I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, she was right. More answers. So, yeah, again, I was like, if you're not in the mood, don't bother. But if at all you are craving just something with more depth and grit, yeah, uh, recommend. And then another book I picked up, um, this would be great for any, uh, Reiki healers. Um, I just picked this up at my used bookstore. This book, and I haven't finished it, but I was like, oh my gosh, she is, she's putting things like powerful spiritual gifts into layman's terms. I was like, thank you so much. I needed this, this book. It was kind of nice because like my Reiki healer that, um, I see, you know, she's told me a lot of things, but it's like, it was nice to have like a book format just to read it you know, from another source, I guess. I don't know. It was just, it was, it was nice. And also, because she's a healer, who's Echo Bodine, Bodine. Um, she, uh, I don't know. It's just like a quick little read, but it has been really good as a healer. Like, like their, like her, her practice, how she goes about it, her, her ceremony, or not her ceremony, but her ritual with healing, how she goes about it super helpful and then I've been using this one too for nighttime readings a little bit um I see the uh, art through the eyes of the soul nice as well and then aura somatero and the color gypsy deck of color it's over there have been awesome and the one crystal I've been using religiously is my angel light and um yeah I had a dream about this crystal and I've just been using it every night and trying to keep track of my dreams and um I was trying to think what there's nothing else to say but um yeah I think okay that's probably enough for now so I have some more decks coming in from trades and I did pre-order Avalon's Bonestone and Earth Flesh deck this month I'm super excited about and uh she did say if you did not if you missed the first pre-order she will be doing another pre-order closer to the end of the year like November December so, um, and you can, if, if you go look on her channel and see some of the, like, the Bonestone bashes and just see, like, Anna Torian's art and how they go about the process of creating a tarot deck, super beautiful, and, um, especially I did, um, I signed up for the, uh, uh, Chris Ann from the Sacred Creators Oracle, um, the creator of that, uh, she did, uh, um, uh, a creating your tarot oracle deck for Ethany's uh, Tarot Readers Academy Summer School, and um, I had signed up for that as well as Avalon's uh, rituals ritual tarot tarot that uh, Avalon's ritual tarot uh, course this summer too. So I was doing that this past month, and that's been a lot of fun. And to um, 
brought in my tarot abilities and uh, wisdom. So, anyway, that's a lot. That's so much. Okay, so that's what's been going on. Um, I saved it all for the end of the month or a day late, but that's okay. Um, so, if you have any other things you want me to go in depth on or for any questions, please just feel free to like comment. Um, but I would be happy to share how I go camping as a coffee lover, a, a non-super outdoorsy person, and a, yeah, someone who's like, doesn't like the cold, like how do I stay warm and make it super comfortable? If you're at all curious, or jujitsu, or any of that. And, um, we'll end it there. So have a great day! <laughs>